Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie Heert. I am a soul level intuitive coach as well as a soul level animal communicator. And I also love to read. And you will see that there's videos on my channel that talk about the books that I've been reading lately. I'll just let you know right now, there isn't a book that I read that I don't like. <laughs> and it's not because I just like everything. It's just because I also, I let the guides and the animals help me choose which books to read. Um, and I make sure that I'm really drawn to something. I also though, I will admit, I have a habit of um, getting more books than I can possibly read. I have a basement full of books um, and I continually call and kind of let things go that I don't need and whatnot as time goes on. But of late, meaning the last several years, the guides and animals really kind of helped me. They really helped me pick which ones to read. So I share those with all of you. Um, I have been on an exploration of indigenous cultures since living in Alaska um, and really um, having an, an opportunity to experience the, the wide variety of indigenous cultures in Alaska, let alone the ones in the lower 48 um, and Hawaii, can't forget about Hawaii. Um, it is, it has been so eye-opening on so many levels. The, the pain that white uh, people cause, this, the, the hurt, the, uh, we haven't even begun to talk about any of this stuff. The, what we've all as a, what a, as a species, what we've lost. Um, the languages, the stories, the medicines, the wisdom, all of it. It's just, it's, it's, it brings me to my knees. It's humbling. It's inspiring. It's all of it. It's, there's just so many emotions wrapped up in that. Um, you'll see a video on a book that I recently read called the seven circles. Highly recommend that one. I still, um, I just keep referring back to it again, and again, I gave it as Christmas gifts to everybody that got it, loved it. Um, just, it's just so inspirational. I've also read um, Joy Harjo's book, Poet Warrior. There's not a video on that because that was before I was doing these, but there is an Instagram post on that one. Um, fabulous memoir and poems and work that she's done. I highly recommend Joy Harjo. If you don't know who she is, she's the Poet Laureate of the United States. I don't know if she's the current one, but she's been one. She's an amazing writer and she tells stories of indigenous cultures, indigenous trauma, um, all of it through her poetry. She has a poem in, in her book that I have somewhere. I can't find it right now um, on Anchorage, Alaska. I love this poem. Um, she recently re released a new um, collection. Um, they're not all new poems that I know of. And I've recently been reading that. So we'll talk about that book later. But the book I want to talk about today is a book that it's taken me a long time to read. I started it on, on as an audio book. Um, when we were in the process of moving to this current location, well, actually not this, we were moving, not, doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> and I didn't get through it all on Audible and I never had, I never made the time to finish it. However, at the same time, as I started listening to it on Audible, I actually bought a printed copy because the language and the words and how she writes, it was just so, it's so simple, but it's so deep and it's so lovely and it's delicious. And, um, I just, I had to have a copy so I could actually just see the words and actually touch them. And I was at the same time thinking I was going to mark up my book with notes and I have not been able to bring myself to do that because I love this book so much. And the book is, I'm sure many of you are familiar with it. It's called Braiding Sweetgrass. It is Robin Wall Kimmerer. You can hear interviews with her all over the place, including one of my favorite places on being um, with Krista Tippett, which is getting ready to start back up again. Um, but she, you know, the things that I love about this, and I just opened it up to a random page and she talks, she shares a story about the three sisters that corn, pumpkin, and squash are the three sisters. And when you, when you grow them together, the relationship that they have, the way that one supports the other, takes from the other, gives to the other is so, it's, it's a beautiful story in and of itself. It makes so much freaking sense <laughs> too. Like, why are we not doing more of this? Look at what we lost when um, when we decimated indigenous cultures in this in the United States in particular, let alone indigenous cultures around the world. Um, so I, I I loved this book. I 
picked it up, the printed copy, when I realized I wasn't going to get to the audible and I let myself slowly every night read a chapter, maybe half a chapter and just let it sit. And sometimes I didn't come back to it. I had another book I needed to finish as well. But this book, it just delighted me. And I just feel, I, it just really helped me stay grounded and really connect into mother earth as well as to the plants and so much even deeper respect for the plants. Um, I also read last year, Finding the Mother Tree, which is, I think this is what started this exploration of plants and talking with plants and talking with trees and the connection and the mycelium network. And this for me took it even further. I cannot read, wait to read the other book that she wrote, which has to do with, oh, it's called Gathering Moss, which has to do with moss. Um, I will also say, if you get a chance to go to Alaska, there is an organization called Alaska Geographic, and they do these things called field courses, where you go into this Denali National Park, you spend a weekend with a biologist or someone who studies that in their field, which of course I'm not going to be able, by a botanist, I don't know if she's a bot, I think she's an ecologist, doesn't matter. Anyway, <laughs> You go into the field with somebody and then you study something specifically. I went into the Denali and did one of these courses with the wolf biologist in Denali. Fantastic weekend, but there is a mosses and lichens class that I have wanted to take forever. Sadly, we moved away, but I will be back. So someday I'll be taking that class. So if you have a chance and you're going to Alaska either this summer or next summer, check out Alaska Geographic, check out mosses and lichens, but read this book and her other book or her other book first because you will just you will see the the ground beneath your feet in a completely different way you'll look at the trees above you in a completely different way um and you'll also if you don't already you'll begin to have an appreciation for the indigenous cultures in this country in north america and what we lost and we would be ever so lucky if we were able to get any of it back. So um, anyway, reading Sweetgrass, loved it. Check it out. Let me know what you think of it. Let me know how she's affected you. All of the good things. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, if you have any questions about anything, want to discuss it further, please let me know. And I hope to see you soon. Have a wonderful day and pay attention to the grass beneath your feet. See you later.